And that's all there is to it. We've taken these two cables and produced two MC4 cables of exactly the right length and custom size that I need. So what we're going to do is we're going to make PV cables. They're gonna go from here, running over to the input line on the combiner box. But I thought this would be a good time to show you how to build them. So we're gonna start by building the negative side. And we are going to cut off the ends to make sure that they are good and clean. And that one I just cut is good. And then we're going to strip back. These are the connectors. So we need one on one end and one on the other, and then we can turn the cable however we need it to connect it, because it feeds in from one side and out the other. So it'll be like this here and this here. So let me show you step by step how to do this. So you start off by making sure the ends are clean. Then you strip off a piece of wire from the end like that. And you try to get the insulation but not the copper strands within the, the wire. The more of those copper strands you get, the less, uh, the less of the wire there is, and that's not good. So the best way to do that is to clamp down on it with the right size strippers and then slide it off without twisting like this. Because if you twist, it causes it to rub against those wires and cuts them. Now we have both ends stripped. So we're going to take these. Now, what you need is you need a, a connector on the inside. So you're gonna need one for one half and one for the other. Now these are counterintuitive. And you would think that the big one would go in the big one and the little one would go in the little one, but it is actually backwards. This lines the walls of that one. And then this one has the post inside that slides inside of that one. So we do this with this side and we do this with this side. So here's how this is very, very straightforward. We are going to basically lay the wire in the channel. And you can see here, it's got two little wings that fold out. So I'm gonna lay the wire in this channel, make sure that every strand makes it in. And then I'm gonna pinch those strands a little bit close so that they fit easily into the tool. Then I'm gonna take this tool and you can see here, this is going to fold those ends over and crimp them down into the, uh, into the wire. So you wanna make sure that the wing side are in this top piece here where they flip over and then back into the wire. So we're gonna put them into this middle setting here, line it up directly in the middle of the wings and in the, in the middle of the tool. The width of this tool is exactly the same width as the piece you need to clamp here. So you should be able to line them up exactly and then give them, make sure they're in, completely and firmly, and then give them one squeeze all the way open and closed, and it should clamp around that wire here nice and tight where that doesn't move. Now the rest is pretty easy. As long as this is not tight, it just needs to be just to where it just barely starts to snag. And you should be able to just slide right in and it click in place, and then you just tighten this down to cause it to squeeze the water, the rubber washer that's on the inside of these. Let me show you that rubber washer. So on the inside of these, this rubber garment is right here. And when you push that in, then you, when you tighten it down, it pushes in on this and it squeezes that rubber garment in on the wire and makes a waterproof seal. So that's what you're attempting to get is that waterproof seal by tightening this down. There's little tools that come with this, that come with the kit, and you can use them if you're not strong enough to twist these with your hand. Then we just need to do the other end. We do exactly the same thing. It works exactly the same way. Make sure the strands are all nice and lined up. Crimp it a little bit with my fingers so that it just fits in the tool a little easier. It's not absolutely necessary. You can use a tool to do that. Line it up and squeeze all the way until it releases. Double check to make sure. Check here to make sure every strand is in there and they're all crimped nice and good. Take the other end of the cable, since this one has the small connector, push the cable on and tighten the waterproof seal. And voila, you have made your PV cable. So let's repeat again. I'll do this one a little bit faster so you can see it a second time. 
We're basically going to strip this in like that. Then we're going to take the connector. Doesn't matter which end we use. We need one of these and we need one of these. Since we're doing the little one first, we're going to use the big connector. We put it on the cable on it, pinch it a little bit with my hand, roll it up into there exactly aligned up with it this way so that, that those wings are lined up right in the middle of this tool and all the way in the cable is all the way in and right up to the edge. Give it a clip. You can see it's nice and snug. Slip on the end. Tighten it down. And you're good. And then rinse and repeat for the last one. Strip off the end. Take the small clip. Place all the strands in it. Pinch it a little bit with my hand. Line it up perfectly. Push until it releases. Double check that every strand is in there and then it's good and tight. Take the clamp, the big one for the little post, the little one for the big post. Push it in. You'll hear it, you'll feel it click and it'll hold itself in place. Then you just tighten it down for the waterproof seal. And that's all there is to it. We've taken these two cables and produced two MC4 cables of exactly the right length and custom size that I need.